Hello YouTube and welcome to Black Gold and my So you want to buy a fish tank guide um, So I'm just going to give you some general advice on what to look for when buying an aquarium A lot of people do this wrong for some reason So I'm going to tell you the right way to do it First up, what you want to do is figure out what kind of fish you want to hold. Now the best way to do this I find is to go to a, a big well stocked aquarium shop and look at fish. Now these shops will also have some trained personnel that you can use to you know ask questions, figure out the needs of the fish and such. So find some fish that you want to keep, write down the names, and go online. So you're going to go online and find out more about the fish that you found in the pet shop. Now it can be looking at pictures, it can be reading posts about people who keep these fish, and also reading descriptions of their natural habitat. Now the reason you want to explore more about the fish is that you want to give them the best possible care that you can. So first find out what kind of fish you want, what requirements that they have before you buy your tank. The reason for this is that some fish grow huge, you know, really huge and they will need a lot of space. So if you buy a too small aquarium and you know you're not going to be able to upgrade it, you know, within reasonable time, the fish are going to grow too big, they're not going to you know ha have a good life in that tank so find some fish that will fit into the size of an aquarium that you think you can have and I would recommend that you buy a biggest tank as possible there are a lot of good things about having a big tank first off big tanks are easier to keep the water balance in so they're gonna be easier for you to maintain also, bigger tanks means that you can have more fish. I find that if you have a too small tank and too few fish, you're gonna lose the interest in the hobby. You're not gonna, you know, be as happy about having the hobby and being involved in the hobby, especially if you bought a too small tank for the fish that you really want and you know you can't upgrade it. Plus, buying a bigger tank and the right equipment from the beginning are going to be cheaper than buying a smaller tank and then finding out you want to upgrade at a, a little later point because you have to upgrade everything you know not just the tank you have to update the lighting the filtration the decorations the number of fish there are a lot of things that goes into this so to summarize if you want to go out and buy a tank Find out what kind of fish you want to keep first, find out what they need of requirements, and then buy a tank that fits those requirements. Uh, go online, ask people, ask also some people who don't have a monetary interest in you buying fish, because they might give you some bad advice just to sell you some fish, and you're not going to have a pleasant experience. Uh, doing that. So ask around, spend some time, find out what you want to keep, how you want to keep them, do you want to do natural, do you want to do pretty, do you want to do community, etc, etc. There's a lot of options and also look at the difficulty level of keeping the different kind of fish. Some fish are easy to keep, some fish are not so easy. So really think about it, it's like the best advice I can give you. Look into what it requires to keep fish. Ask uh, friends, family who have aquariums. Uh, there might be you know, a local aquarium community you can ask and go and see their aquariums and, and find out what it really takes. Um, but it's worth it. Let me just say that here in the end. I really love my aquariums. I really love keeping my fish so, good luck. 
I'll do more videos on how to set up an aquarium when you have it all said and done.